So good morning everybody and welcome to the beautiful Sweden. It's a beautiful morning and today we're going fishing. My name is Simon. And my name is Hugo. And today we're going to fish for pike in the biggest lake of Sweden. Let's go. Let's go. So we have arrived on the spot. Well, uh, it's a uh, new area for, for us. We fished this lake uh, yesterday with uh, a half a day of fishing and we had some good fishing. Three meter plus pike and a few small ones. So that was uh, a great start. Uh, so today a new spot, a new area that we don't know. We don't know any spots, so we're gonna look for spots. The plan is... Yeah, so what we're gonna do is first fish some shallow bays. And we just arrived in this bay and we already saw a really big fish swimming around. So we're just first going to fish some of the shallow areas and if we can catch some fish over here then we we'll just keep on fishing over here and if that will work not that good then we just move on towards the outside and look into the deeper waters if we can find some big pike over there yeah so we're gonna find the pike today yeah. let's go so since it's like one to 1.5 meters deep over here First going to use a Zilla glider which runs just below the surface and we already had some really good fish on this one yesterday so let's give it a try. So we've tried fishing the bay, shallow area between what was it half a meter and one and a half meters of depth. Uh, no bites yet so uh, we think it's time to uh, move, to move to deeper water and try over there. Finally, it took us like four hours fishing deeper waters and it delivered. <laughs> Look at this one. Magnificent pike. Wow. <laughs> Can we get the first one of today? I think a nice 70 centimeter fish. Not really the big one we hoped for, but at least it's a good start. So. On a jerkbait? On a jerkbait, yeah. Slow fishing is the key today. Quickly put this one back and see if we can get a muller. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. It took like six hours before we got the second bite, but... It's a fish. It's a fish. Exactly. So we fished for like six hours, tried all different kind of spots, and finally we went to a little bit shallow bay. We just missed one pike. And there we got one. So maybe we're onto something. So we'll just fish this bay for like another 30 minutes and see if we can get another one. Nice. We just said we're onto something and I think we are. Because that's number three in like a couple of casts that we did. Nice. Again on the jerk bait. Fish really slow. The water is quite warm over here, like 12 degrees. And wow. <laughs> Outside, strong. yeah, it's really strong fish. So, like outside the base, it's like six or seven degrees, and over here it's 12.2. So, 
which is significantly warmer, which made us think that they would go into the base either for spawning or, or to because feed. or to feed. And I think the last thing is the case because this one is really full. Seems like there's something inside of his belly. Nice. Beautiful fish. Good girth on this one. Yeah. That's a fatty. Second cast. Second cast with the smaller. That's cool. That's quite a nice fish. Wow. That really hammered it. Yeah. Like it's totally <laughs> gone. That's action. <laughs> yeah. That bite was insane. What a beauty. Look at the mark, the pattern on this one. It's beautiful. Wow. What a bite. So yeah, you caught a few and got a few bites on the small jerk bait. And I was fishing a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. My bait was 16 yeah. centimeter and yours yeah. was, what was yeah. it? 12 or something? Yeah, like 12, 13. So I, uh, I switched to a little bit smaller, uh, smaller twitch bait and second cast, boom. <laughs> in the shallows, in the shallow base, that's where they are. And that's where they are feeding. And this beauty uh, yeah. gave me a fun fight. So let's return her. <laughs> 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 yes, there was a strong release. Oh, awesome. So, as you can see behind me, the sun is uh, going down, sun is setting, uh, light conditions are getting lower, so that's really, really normally a good moment of the day. Uh, also, the wind is coming up a little bit, and during the whole day we had like zero wind and full sun from the, yeah, great from the sky. So, uh, well, I think that is one of the main reasons why we got a few fish uh, in a row in this bay. Um, so maybe this is a sign that the fish are gonna, yeah, gonna feed, gonna bite. And we've seen a few really, really big pikes out, uh, outside on the, on the rocks. So I think it's a good plan to uh, soon move outside to the rocks again and see if they're in feeding mode in there as well. So we are back on the deep, deep side of the lake. Right now the boat is on seven meters of water. And we're trying to find some more shallow plateau and then the drop off behind it. That's where we saw a couple of really big meter plus, maybe even 110 plus pike this morning and this afternoon. Uh, didn't want to bite back then. So maybe now with a little bit of waves, a bit, bit of chop on the, on the surface, might be a little bit better, so uh, let's give it a try. Last one. Did you see that? Did you get it on the film? <sighs> you can still see the boil. So we uh, fished for about an hour in the, uh, in the deep end of the lake, but got nothing. Zero following, zero bites, nothing. And we have about maybe one hour of daylight left. So we said, yeah, we got some action in the in the shallow parts of the of the lake in the bay, and uh, let's uh, let's give it one more try. And this was my fifth cast or something on the same lure, the flanker from the Zilla Zilla family, and uh, a small pike took it, but came off. Anyway, let's keep on casting. So a beautiful day has come to an end. We've caught a couple of nice pikes, so that was really fun. Weather was super enjoyable and uh, well, the views on this lake is always amazing. 
So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we're gonna head home. And for us, it's a couple of days extra uh, pike fishing after this one. Weather's gonna change, so we'll see what happens to the pike.